Hey guys, it's Boys and Makeup, and I just wanted to do a really quick video on how I did the pearls to my pretzel necklace. Um, what you want to do is use the same clay that you used to make the necklace. I chose the same color. You can choose different colors if you want to. And okay, the when you buy the clay, it comes in about um, I think it's six uh, rectangles of clay. It comes in one pack. I use uh, one rectangle per circle so I just took the piece apart and I rolled it into a circle like this this one has a little bit uh, of marbling in it because I mixed a little bit of purple <coughs> I was just experimenting and actually there's only three of them like that and one of them I'm not using which is this medium ball Okay, so what I did, make sure your hands are clean before you do this because any dirt or particles that you have on your hand will come on to the ball. Okay, so what I did was I rolled the clay. I'll make an example for you now. This is soft clay. So what I did was I smushed it and then I rolled it into circles like this. Just roll it around in your hand. So as you can see, it's starting to come into a circle. You just fix it a bit. Keep rolling. Okay, so this is a pretty good circle now. And <coughs> now I have these little pinch pinches things. I don't know. Like a little, um, a, a needle, but it's bigger than your usual needle. What I suggest you to use is, like, um, probably a sewing needle would be good to, you know, to sew hair. Because those needles are pretty thick. But you would need a straight one because it's really hard to work with a curled needle. I've tried it. It actually broke. Um, <clears throat> so... Now I got these holes that I have here now, I actually used a bobby pin. Okay, so I just took the little pinch and I put it in the hole and that's what created this hole there. So after you roll your clay up, you're going to poke a hole inside of the clay. Like so, I'm just going to poke a hole in there. And I just turned it around and that's what created the hole and I did it on the opposite side to make sure it goes through right as you can see and this is how I put them in the oven for the same time that you would do for your pretzel necklace just keep checking on them and they're gonna get hard like these that are already made as you can see it's hard. I just have to spray them with um, the gloss and they'll be finished. <clears throat> if you don't want them to look shiny you can leave them like this which is it looks kinda like a matte finish which is not bad at all. And I also made some little ones to go around the necklace so you won't see the, the elastic. And this is what I'm gonna use for the necklace. It's, it's actually stretchable string for your necklace. I picked that because I don't want it to break. <coughs> and I also got these, which you use to make necklaces. Alligator clip. And I did purchase some little balls, just in case I don't use these pink ones that I made, which I really think I am. So that's about it. You roll up as many balls. For all these balls I have here, I used two and a half packs to get all of this. Hopefully it will make a great necklace. 
I'm really hoping. I'll let you guys know how this turned out. Please send me pictures of your necklaces. I would love to see if the directions I gave you guys worked. And these are all the balls that I made. I'm just going to place them in the oven. And I'm going to put everything together. And I will post pictures for you guys. Just let me know if you like the video or not. Comment below. And that will be all. Have a good night, guys.